Welcome to Alias TTV. It's part three of Fia Cinquecento Alias FD Modeling Tutorials. And you remember on the right side, part one and two, this was the Fia Cinquecento, the old model. And here is a new one. This is the electric Fia Cinquecento. And we want to do some advanced techniques of sub -team modeling. And just to give you an overview how I did this one, let's have a look on what will be covered in this video. First of all, we have lattice rig, where we can put a lot of points in the lattice and take the lattice points, which are fewer, and move and push the complete shape into position. Then we have our shrink wrap, which is called conformal rig and alias, of course, where we can move any geometry on top of another surface and push and squeeze it also. Last but not least, sketching on top of a empty surface. You can use the retopology tool to do that. So you have an existing surface and put a new one on top of it. When you follow the link in the description, you can download this model, what you see here. It's the box mode. And if we go to Harbor Shade, you can see this is the result of Fiat 500 part one. Exactly what came out in the video number one. Now we have part three. And what we want to do is take this model and change the shape so that it fits for the new 500 electric. And so the easiest way to get the shape approximately correct first is scaling. And so we go to transform and then we put the manipulator at the bottom and then we switch back to transform. We go to the rectangles and scale. Approximately the height of the car should be correct. And then we can see that on the front end, there is a difference because the new 500E looks different. So we have to change the shape there. And that's what Lattice Rig will do. Find the tool in Object Edit where you can find all the rigging tools here listed up. And one of them is Lattice. So go there. Now don't select immediately. Uh, first go to PMask. Uh, pick mask. So I have to switch off sub -E body, otherwise the complete uh, sub-D will be within the lattice. And we don't want to have that. We just want to select the points now by just making a window and selection and accept the targets. Now all the front end vertices are put in a box. But one box, which has only eight points to manipulate, is not enough to get a correct shape. So usually you add some split levels and change the lattice rig a little bit more because then you're more flexible. So I go there maybe, um, put a split level where the feature line is. Then I put a split line where we have that uh, front bumper and another one maybe where the front feature is here. And let's say that's it. Now another thing is it's completely straight here and it is not close to geometry, which is another uh, a point where you have to uh, be careful when you do these lattice boxes. So I go in that mode and move that point. You see, it doesn't change the geometry because at the moment it's not engaged. So I can make any change to the lattice without changing the geometry. So I go there. Now the lattice looks fine because it's close to geometry. And now that's the moment where we engage and make all the points active. Now, if I select the lattice points now and move them, the complete shape will change. But I want to see the shape, of course, in shaded mode, not in uh, box mode. So I go to hardware shade and see the shape. And now I can manipulate the front end by just go further in this direction, a little bit more there. Then I additionally select the bottom points and go more towards the front. And probably I have to change that feature a little bit upward and flatten the front hood a little bit. Another manipulation which is possible but not necessary in this case, but I want to show you is when you go to top view, you can just take the outer points with a selection, so middle mouse button, and then switch to scale. And if you go to the green rectangle or green box, then you can squeeze from the side and make the front end narrower. But that's not necessary, so we do an undo to get back 
to the shape we had already. And I'd say, all right, I'm happy with this one. And I'll leave that one. Now Lazaric is finished. If you like it, you can say commit. If you don't like it, you can say revert. Now at the moment, I didn't say anything. That means we have history with query edit. We can go in again and activate the lattice again. If, but in this exercise, I won't do something with lattice anymore. So I do commit and say that's finished. Everything's fine. Second workflow I want to show in this video is how to wrap the emblem on the front end of the car. So let's see what we've got here. So we have that emblem already prepared. I got some curves from DXF and I take these curves and create a 3D logo first, which is completely flat. So I go in alias to a command called multi-surface draft and I select the downward orientation and as you can see we have a draft angle even so when we look closer then you can see the flange angle so that's slightly slanted but now it's just a cookie cutter so we need a lid of course so we pick the curves already and now we do some planar surf with hitting spacebar. And now it's closed, everything's fine. Next step is how to wrap it on that surface of the front end. So what can we do? And there's a little trick necessary to do that. So we go to the front view and we pick all the surfaces which are there already because sub D's and alias are surfaces, you know, and be above the sharp edge. Then copy and paste. After pasting, I switch off the CVs, create a new layer, and assign these surfaces on that layer. So now I can grab them separately. So I switch off the rest, and I go back, and I can see the logo and the destination where I want to go. Be sure that there is no sharp edge on the destination surface, because otherwise it won't work. Now we come to wrapping. Wrapping is in alias not called wrapping or shrink wrap. It's object added conformerig. So that's a rigging tool, which is the topmost in this list here. And you go to conformerig, you select the emblem, accept it as the target, and then you take the destination service, all of them just there. Now you can go close to where we ended up so we can see already we have it and we can move around our logo which is banded and wrapped on top of these surfaces and I can switch on the rest of the geometry and I can move around the complete logo and scale it for for example to make it bigger or smaller so you can just play around and optimize everything rotation would be possible and also elevation. Elevation means you go from the surface towards inward or outward. I want to have it just close with some intersection a little bit and that's it. So now we come to our final last chapter three and after I created the logo so I want to know now how to sketch on the 3D model. And therefore, I just did some further steps. So I created the lamps on that lower part here. This is covered in, in the earlier parts of the Fiat videos. So you just have to look at part one and two. But what I want to show now is how to project this picture in the back here, this one, this canvas plane, on top of the model and sketch on it. So let's see. So I take that canvas plane, then I change the transparency here. On the right side, you have that transparency and you can change it. So, of course, you can just make it bright, full brightness. And then you go to Canvas Layer Editor, which is here. And then there, there we have a possibility to project the picture on top of our model. So I take the model, this one, also the wheel, and I project the picture on this model. Boom! We have it. And here, now we can just see that we have the eyebrow already on top of the front hood. And that's what we want to model now. 
it's it's not so clear because we have a low resolution picture but that doesn't matter it can be a sketch you have wherever it is from you project it and then you can sketch on it and that's how, what i want to show you and again it's the same trick than we did earlier so we take the surfaces here on top we pick surface and copy them. That's all we need to do. So we go to copy and paste. And then we need a separate layer, of course, and assign it. Everything is quite the same. And we have it and we switch all the CVs, of course. Before I start sketch modeling, I go just quickly to visualize and change the color of the default shader because this is necessary just to have not white on white i just want to see some difference so now we have these golden uh lamp rings and so we will also have a golden eyebrow and now we can start modeling by just going closer to the scenery and then we switch over everything which is not necessary the wheels and the septi we just want to have these few surfaces where we can put our geometry on top of and so we go to default and read topology tool that's the tool we need so let's select the surfaces which will be used for this protection and then go next hit spacebar and immediately we can start sketching our new sub d with shift i go in there in the first patch with the first four points next one go there or with shift, I can just drag out a new part and move the points all on top of the surface. So I always work on that surface, you can see. So I can, I can just drag around on that surface just to position my points of the patches wherever I want it. So now I just move that point a bit above. So I do an edge loop additionally. And so I got the complete eyebrow somehow here. I switch off these helping surfaces and that's it. And so I'm finished. I pick the whole thing, move it up because the eyebrow is a bit above the whole thing. Switch on the rest of the geometry and so we have it. So this is what I wanted, sh wanted to show you in this little video. So I switch on everything else switch all the wires here we go this is the final result thank you for watching so if you have any ideas for part four just leave a comment and thank you again